All right, ready to dive in. Today, we're tackling something I bet you know, but like don't really know barley. I'm with you. Everyone's seated on a beer label. Right. Maybe even baked with it a time or two. But trust me, there is way more to this grain than meets the eye. That's where this deep dive comes in. We're going way beyond the beer aisle with this one. Today, we're tapping into the Barley Hub. And no, not some hip new brewery. Though that does sound kind of amazing. It's actually a whole research center. Global, even. It's dedicated entirely to. Yeah. You guessed it. Barley. And for good reason. Yeah, like, why does barley rate its own research center? What makes it so special? Well, for starters, it's the fourth most important cereal crop globally. Fourth. Okay, you've got my attention. And we're talking grown in over 100 countries. Wow. This little grain is essential animal feed, human food. And, yeah, okay, those adult beverages we mentioned. <laughs> but it's the versatility that'll really get you. Okay, so it's a multitasker. I'm getting that. But what's that actually mean on like a global scale think about it it's not just what you can make with barley it's that it can grow in some of the toughest places on earth real oh yeah arid regions mountains you name it that makes it huge e for global food security especially as the climate you know does its thing exactly and that's a big part of what the barley hub is all about resilience sustainability so not just growing more barley but growing it smarter you got it they want to make sure it's around to feed people for a long long time now that is food for thought. Right. So they're tackling these huge challenges, but they're also looking ahead. I saw something about AI being used in barley research. Oh, yeah. It's cutting edge stuff. AI and barley. That's pretty wild. It shows just how much the Barley Hub is embracing tech to solve real problems. We're talking using AI to analyze mountains of data on barley. Like what? Everything. Genes, growth patterns, the works. Okay. So we've got this global player. It's resilient. And now we're adding AI to the mix. It's a lot more exciting than folks might expect, that's for sure. It really is. But there's even more, right? Because I saw something about barley being used in some pretty unexpected ways. Oh, absolutely. Remember that versatility we talked about? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely starting to see that. Well, buckle up, because this is where it gets really interesting. The Barley Hub is doing some really innovative research. And one project that caught my eye was called a Best Crop. The Best Crop? Okay. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. So... They're using part of the barley plant you might not expect. Don't tell me. They're making barley milk now. Not quite, though I wouldn't be surprised at this point. No, they're actually using barley straw. Wait, hold on. Barley straw? <laughs> As in the leftover stalks after you harvest the grain? Seriously, what could they possibly be doing with that? That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. But get this. They're using it to create composite materials. Composite materials? Like for building? Are you telling me my house could one day be partially made of barley? It's not as far-fetched as it sounds, and it highlights just how innovative the Barley Hub's research is. But to really understand how they're making these groundbreaking discoveries, we need to take a closer look at their facilities. Okay, so the Barley Hub's facilities, what are we picturing here? Rows of lab benches, bubbling beakers, you know, the whole mad scientist thing. Uh-huh, you're not far off. The Barley Hub website breaks their facilities down into four key areas. Genomics, biotechnology, imaging, and metabolomics. Okay, gotta be honest, some of those sound a little intimidating. I get it. Want me to break them down a bit? Please, yeah. All right, so, genomics. Imagine, like, a giant instruction manual for building the perfect barley plant. Okay. Genomics is like having the ability to read that manual, maybe even edit it a little. So, understanding what each gene does and how it af affects the plant. Exactly. Yield, disease resistance, even flavor. Wild. Okay, what about biotechnology? That one always makes me think of, like, sci-fi movies. It does have that rain, doesn't <laughs> it? But really, biotechnology is about using nature to solve problems. With barley, we're talking about developing new varieties. Like ones that can handle drought better. Exactly, or have more nutrients, things like that. Cool. Okay, imaging. The, is that just a bunch of microscopes? Even cooler than that. Imagine zooming in on a barley plant and seeing how it works in real time. No way. Oh, yeah. They use all kinds of high-tech imaging to study its growth down to the tiniest level. That's insane. Like watching how barley turns sunlight into food right in front of you. You got it. It's amazing stuff. Okay, last one, metabolomics. That's a mouthful. It really is. What even? So think of it like this. Metabolomics is like analyzing the chemical fingerprints left behind by everything happening inside the plant. So like a detective trying to solve a case, but instead of a crime, it's 
Barley's success. Exactly. They're figuring out how it converts sunlight to energy, how it makes those nutrients. It's pretty incredible. It is. So basically, they're piecing together this complete picture of barley from its DNA to the stuff we can't even see. And by putting all of that together, genomics, biotechnology, imaging, metabolomics, they're getting a crazy deep understanding of barley and its potential. I mean, it's kind of mind blowing. We started with barley and now we're talking about like the future of food. And we're just getting started. Remember how we were talking about barley straw being used in those unexpected ways? <laughs> That's just one example. The Barley Hub is doing some seriously innovative research and their work could change things in ways we haven't even thought of yet. Makes you wonder what else is out there, you know? What other secrets is barley hiding? Right. I mean, we've talked about food, drinks, even building materials. It's like the Swiss Army knife of greens. And that's just what we know. Exactly. Like, okay. what if this is just the beginning? You're on to something. <laughs> the Barley Hub's research goes beyond just finding new USES for barley. It's about understanding what it can really do. Okay, so like unlocking its full potential. Exactly. I like it. So where do they go from here? Well, one thing they're digging into is barley's impact on human health. So not just feeding the world, but making us healthier too. Now you're getting it. There's more and more evidence that barley can be a big part of a healthy diet. Really? Like what? Well, they're looking at its potential for regulating blood sugar, lowering cholesterol, even stuff like reducing the risk of certain diseases. Wow, so barley, the superfood, who knew? It really drives home that idea we talked about barley being a crop for the future. Totally. When you think about all the challenges ahead, climate change, more people to feed. We need foods that are like up for the task. And barley seems like it checks all the boxes. Sustainable, nutritious. It really does. It's kind of humbling, you know, to think all this from a grain we thought we already knew. That's why we do these deep dives. You never know what you'll uncover. Seriously. And this one's been full of surprises. I've learned a ton, that's for sure. Same here. So to all our listeners out there, next time you're at the grocery store, take a second look at that bag of barley. It's not just for beer and bread anymore. You got that right. Turns out it might just be the grain of the future. And who knows, maybe our little deep dive will inspire you to do some exploring of your own. Yeah, you never know what's out there waiting to be discovered. Sometimes the most extraordinary discoveries come from the most ordinary places. I love that. That's all the time we have for today, but we hope this deep dive into barley has been eye-opening. It definitely has for me. Until next time, keep those brains buzzing and stay curious.